Welcome back to 5-Minute Kerbal, and today we're going to be talking about stability. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the SAS mode. We've got our standard command module Mark 1, and we've got a parachute on top. Go up to your propulsion tab, grab a 400 engine, FLT 400 engine, or uh, excuse me, this is a fuel tank. Go back to propulsion. We're going to get this 200 thrust engine. This is the LV-T45. We're going to put it right on the bottom. Fix the staging so we don't fire the parachute and the rocket at the same time. And then we'll head to the launch pad. Now, before we launch, um, if you've watched the other videos, you've seen these things can be really unwieldy sometimes, and you got to keep tapping WASD to keep them in line. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the T key, T on the T-board, and that turns on SAS mode up here on the upper right-hand side of the nav ball. See, off, on, off, on, T the T key turns on stability assistance mode. So throttle up, hit space. Basically what that does is it means that the rocket itself will make small adjustments using whatever systems it has on hand. And right now that is both the reaction wheels from the command uh, module as well as the uh, gimbaling rocket because we have a, uh, a thrust vectoring rocket. It will use whatever tools it has to keep the rocket aligned with its prograde vector, aligned with where it's headed. So it's very useful for just making it a little bit easier to control. I haven't hit WASD. All I did was just hit the space bar, and we have a rocket that is still perfectly straight up and down. That is one way to enhance stability. So what's another way to enhance stability? Well. Get rid of that engine. We'll go over here. We'll add an FL-T800 tank. This is the big tall one. Okay. Now, especially when you're in atmosphere, or in fact only when you're in atmosphere, one of the best ways to add stability would be to add some wings. That way the rocket can keep itself level or point it in whatever direction you want to point it in. The catch is putting one wing on and then flipping around, putting another wing on, and then flipping around, putting another wing on. It's kind of a pain to get it all right. So what they've done is they have created something called symmetry mode. If you look down here, this little circle with the dot, that indicates your symmetry mode. You can click it, and it will go two times symmetry mode, which means when you put on a fin, there will be two of them. Three times symmetry mode. There's a hot key for this. It's X, so four times symmetry mode would do four fins. Then it goes six, and then eight. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit X until we get to four times symmetry mode. We're going to put four fins on our rocket, and then we'll go back and get the same engine. So now when we launch, oh, let's fix our staging. Now when we launch, when we turn on SAS, we will have the reaction wheels in the, um, the command module, and we will have the fins for SAS to keep us stable. So I hit T to turn on SAS, I hit Shift to throttle up, hit spacebar. Now this rocket will stay nice and straight, but if you want to turn, let me hit D, I'm going to sort of turn over towards my 90 degree longitude. You can see the fins will help you. But you see the fins, they're also doing a little bit on their own, that's because the SAS trying to keep us aligned. There we go. So very much more stable. The SAS has reaction wheels, the fins, and the thrust vectoring rocket to work with this time to keep us stable. It is still, however, fighting gravity. You'll notice our um, little bubble here is falling down the, the nav ball a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll save the rest for next time. We're coming up on our five minute mark in about a minute. So we will see you next time on Five Minute Kerbal.